A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 9. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. This morning as we meditate upon this verse, we see the very character of sincere love. We all know that we should love each other. But Paul's instruction is that our love must be genuine and sincere. One who genuinely loves cannot walk in hypocrisy. In other words, when I'm filled with the Spirit, he is manifesting love, which is the fruit of his Spirit in every area of my life, not just some that are convenient. In simple terms, God is calling us to love one another without hypocrisy. True Christians loving behavior should not be acting a part or wearing a mask, but an authentic expression of a renewed mind and a transformed life. We dislike hypocrisy in business and in personal relationships. Therefore, we certainly should not tolerate it in our profession of faith in Christ either. Once, a pastor of a large Christian church was walking down the street one day with set lips and a steely look in his eye. A parishioner greeted him with the question, How are you today, Pastor? He walked as from a dream and said, I am angry. It was an unusual word for this mild-mannered Christian servant of God. But he went on to explain with deep emotion, I found a widow standing by her goods which were thrown onto the street. She could not pay the month's rent and therefore the landlord turned her out. One of her children is going to die and the man is a member of the church. I told her to take her things back again. I am on my way to see him now. Precious ones, sincerity of heart and life should clearly mark the Christian who is striving to be obedient to God. Love which is genuine and not counterfeit is expressed through our behavior and our words. We should not pat another believer on the back and say something that we don't mean or speak evil of our fellow brothers and sisters. Throughout the ages, God has called his followers to be sincere without hypocrisy or pretense. It is valuable to have a reputation for being genuine and real, for people to trust our word and to recognize that we are earnestly striving to live open, godly and sincere lives. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help me to love sincerely, to hate injustice and instead love mercy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom. Maranatha.